Hello and welcome to this Aston Originals podcast from Aston History. I'm Brian Sudlow, lecturer in history. Next Thursday, 24th of November at 6 p.m., we will have the launch ceremony for Aston University Archives. That evening, we'll be unveiling student registers and other documents uh, that have been carefully conserved with the support of a grant from the National Manuscript Conservation Trust, uh, these manuscripts dating back to the 1890s. This is an important night for the university. By looking into its own history, Aston is really looking at its own DNA. And we'll be welcoming guests next Thursday to share with them some of the findings that we've already made. Today, however, I'm joined by Professor Helen Hickson, OBE, Professor at uh, Aston Business School, to talk a little bit about Aston's past. Helen has been at Aston University since 1985 and has seen much of Aston's more recent history, but she's also taken a special interest in the history of the institutions that preceded the university. Helen, welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much. So um, here we are uh, now in this splendid media suite uh, of uh, Aston University today in 2022. Um, and Aston, the building here, occupies quite a prominent place on the edge of the city next to the A38. But what was here before all this? Well, and this is where the historian in me gets really excited. This was a typical Birmingham suburb with back-to-back -back houses right over the campus. And it was a, a place where lots of people lived, lots of people worked, and there were also workshops where they were making things. They were making the things that Birmingham has become famous for. So there was nothing here. And the institution that was that is now Aston was elsewhere in the city, in the city centre, uh, the Birmingham Municipal Technical College. Right. OK. Which was, I think, aligned uh, for a while with the Birmingham Midlands Institute. Is that correct? It, in the same, and it's in the same sort of area. It's all, all the same era. It was a fantastic time for Birmingham just before the turn of the century, coming into the to, to the 20th century, where we began to see lots of things happening which have continued and which are there, as you say, in the Aston DNA. And this is the period, the 1890s, is very much the period of the, the second industrial revolution. It's the beginning of electrification. Uh, it's uh, sort of towards the end of the, the current war between AC and DC, mm. isn't it? And then mm. the electrification of workshops and, uh, uh, and so on going into the 20th century. Well, so Aston, Aston itself as a university received its charter in 1966. Um, so what was there before Aston uh, became a university, you know, in the, in the period from the late 19th yeah. century through to 66? Well, this is, I brought a few props along for this because this, this is really important. You talk about the Industrial Revolution um, and you, you talk about the skills. Well, Aston in its previous incarnation as the Birmingham Music Municipal Technical College was created by the employers of Birmingham because they couldn't find people with the skills that they needed in their manufacturing. And this, this document I've got here is the programs. This is the one from 1904, but we have them even before this. And this is the programs we were running. And they're all about um, processes that would have helped the manufacturing in the city. So we've got here um, chemistry and we've got geometry um, and we've got dressmaking and pattern making. So we, and we've got here the full syllabus of everything that they were teaching. And we've looked at these against the syllabuses that we have now at Aston University in, in for example, in chemistry some similarities and some complete differences. So this, this also includes, and I don't know whether you can see this down here, some absolutely beautiful pictures of what the labs and the uh, lecture theatres would have, would have looked like. And they, they were very modern for their day because they were 
introducing new processes? So uh, the thing that strikes me there is that, you know, today we talk very much about the skills agenda mm. and the need for uh, new skills in a fast changing world. But in that sense, um, it seems like Aston's uh, agenda hasn't really changed. It's just that the skills have changed. Um, but in a sense, um, we're still fulfilling the same role that the Birmingham Municipal Technical School was, was fulfilling at that time. Absolutely. And when we became a university in 1966, and then after that, the, the, um, the logo, the, um, the introduction of the Aston Triangle, for example, reflected that. So the three sides of the Aston Triangle is the university, the city, and the, and the businesses and organizations. So again, it comes back again and again in the history of what we do. And I think about it every day. I think about these people in their labs learning these new techniques as I pass students doing the same and then going out for their placement year, for example, just as they used to do as apprentices um, in the times that are recorded by the books. Mm -hmm. I think the, I mean, the other parallel that strikes me is, is uh, uh, the evolution of, of jobs as well, mm -hmm. the evolution mm -hmm. of professions. Um, I was looking this morning at uh, the register for 1893 and just reflecting on, on uh, individuals who were te telegraphists, yeah. for example. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, we're very much in that, in that space, in that same space with the evolution of professions. And, and, and things are coming full circle. So in some of the books we've got, we've got registers and mark sheets of all the classes. And there's one which is um, cooking for nurses. We're about to start a nursing degree. So it's coming full circle. Mm. We're looking and seeing what professions there are, what professions are needing the skills and we're responding to yes, it. Yeah, yeah, to that same need. So the, the university then receives its charter mm -hmm. in 66. Um, so what, what was happening just before it became a university? Well, it was a college of advanced technology. So it, it, it had migrated from the technical college to a college of advanced technology. And this was when, this was the period when it was really aligned with education policy in this country. The government felt that there needed to be more vocational education at a higher level and so decided that they would create some new universities and they, the Colleges of Advanced Technology, the CATS, places like ourselves and Surrey and Bath, became these new universities. Um, and this was in a sense saying, yes, skills are respectable but you can teach students skills at a higher level. Yes, they need to know the vocational, but they also need to know uh, how to manage, how to lead, how to be the managers in these, um, in these businesses that they were learning the skills in. So I, get, I think that was an evolution to that. And then after that, we started um, running management courses, for example, we became the Aston School, the Aston School of Management was very, very famous for its, it, the way it took case studies um, and it analysed those case studies in, in, in a new academic way. Okay, following the, following the trend that had been set by following Harvard. The, yeah, following yeah. the trend from Harvard. Yeah, yeah. I've also brought along some, some other things here. Um, so when we became a university in 1966, there was a lot of pomp and ceremony. You know, we, we, we wanted to embrace being a full, full university. So I have here a picture of the, um, the new academics walking through Birmingham to St. Philip's Cathedral in their new gowns with that civic status that they now had as a university, not just as a college. Um, not only that, um, I have here also um, something very special. And this was um, the pen that um, Her Late Majesty the Queen used when she came to sign the register 
when we were just opening and to actually open the organization as a university so again we, we'd made it hadn't we we'd got we'd, we'd got royal approval for being a university understood well um helen thank you ever so much for giving us um uh, some insights into uh into the university's early history and also into uh, the institutions that uh, that preceded it here um, so uh, just to remind viewers, uh, we'll have the launch of Aston University Archive uh, on Thursday, the 24th of November. Uh, the, uh, the link to register is uh, all, all below. And if you're interested in the University Archives, you'll also find the link below, uh, which will take you to the landing page of the archives, and it'll tell you something more uh, about the, the conservation project that we're undertaking here. For now, thank you very much again, Professor Helen Hickson. And thank you for viewing.